introduction to biodiversity in early childhood education will begin with a lesson about relationships that children have with family members, pets, and other familiar organisms. They would begin by watching this YouTube video. How would you describe our relationship? Good question, because I know the exact answer. I describe it like me and you would go out to eat stuff together, go to rock climbing. And then after viewing the video and having a discussion about it, we would then introduce the term biodiversity and talk about what that means. At this point, students and their families will have access to a Google Classroom where we will have all of the information that we're learning in the classroom housed for family members and caregivers to make that connection at home and be able to continue the learning experience and for families to understand what's going on with their children at home. If we look at the new assignment, what is biodiversity, and click on the instructions, we will open the attachment in Safari. And since we're working with early childhood education students, young children, I have enabled dictation on, the, on my phone where I can touch what I want to be read to me because at this point, most of the children are not able to read. What is biodiversity? And whatever I touch will be read to me. Biodiversity is the rich variety of life on Earth. There's variety in genes, variety of species, and variety of ecosystems. Everything is interconnected or dependent on everything else. After having a discussion about what biodiversity is, we would then request that the students respond to the question, what is biodiversity? And they will have access to respond in the Google Classroom as well. We can visit the question, what is biodiversity? And we can choose to add a class comment, which will be visible to all of the students and their families to view and then respond to those as well. Since we're um, working with young students who are unable to read and write Likely, we can use the microphone icon on whatever personal device the child is using, and they'll be able to record their class comment. Biodiversity is the connection between animals, insects, people, and the environment. Now my comment has been added and others can comment on that, and they can also include their own responses to the question. After we have gone into what biodiversity is and we've spoken about relationships, we can then take a look at the SEEK app, which students will have access to through the classroom, and they can also have their own uh, personal account on their devices at home with their families. They can choose to do either or, or they can do both of those. On the Seek app, we are going to look at how you add a photo, and you can do so in a couple of ways. You can take a photo with the camera, or you can choose photos that you already have. I'm gonna choose this photo of apples and it identified it for me. It wasn't able to identify the exact species, but that's okay. We can post it to iNaturalist here by scrolling down. It's going to ask us to verify some of the information and we can post that to iNaturalist. Once that's posted on the C gap, we can go back and we can look at some of the other information which we've already visited in another video. They do have challenges. We can continue a challenge that we already have been working on. We can look at all of the different challenges that they have available and choose one. We can look at our information that is stored on iNaturalist, but the next thing I would like to show you is the iNaturalist website. And this is where students will be able to see what they have posted. So if we take a closer look, I'll zoom in here and we can take a look at observations. 
And right now I am in the grid view. You can also do a list view and it shows all the different app, um, observations. And you can see here that the apple that I just posted is already there for me to see on my iNaturalist account. This is a general overview of the way that the, um, the unit would progress. And then from here, once we've studied several organisms and we've talked about the relationships, we'll go back to the beginning and can make those connections about the relationships that people have with the environment and the organisms that live in the environment. And then students would choose an organism or a couple of organisms to provide a presentation on in the class.